Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Today, with another brand new puzzle, and I expect it to have a very satisfying and clever solution. And if you watch my channel frequently, then you probably can already, from the look of this puzzle, guess to what puzzle series this belongs. Yes, it belongs to the Packing Puzzle series, the very, very clever Packing Puzzle series, designed by Ju Osaka and manufactured by Puzzle Master Canada. This is the newest puzzle of the series called Oleo 10. It's a level 8 puzzle, and the target is to fit these six red circles and these four black squared pieces into this white frame. Sounds pretty easy, but if you know Ju Asaka and his very clever ideas from the other four puzzles and that you just remember what puzzles I'm talking about, I'm talking about these four puzzles here, all from the same puzzle series, all designed by Ju Asaka. So we got the Jigsaw 19, also a level eight which was quite tricky and you need to find these 19 jigsaw puzzles in the frame which was very tricky because each of these puzzles has a very unusual and surprising twist in it. Even these normal or usual looking jigsaw puzzles here. So you cannot just assemble them, there's always a very clever trick in each of them and if you don't get this trick you will not make it. So this one was a level 8, the jigsaw 19. I think, I'm not sure, I lost the flyer but I think this was a level 9 puzzle here, the wave seven then we got here a level 10 puzzle called the ice nine very difficult one and we got here probably the most famous due to the video of chris ramsey about it the jigsaw 29 i think is the name also a very clever and very tricky puzzle we need to fit these 29 jigsaw pieces inside of this frame all of them absolutely recommendable this is the newest edition here the oleo 10 and i'm really looking forward to seeing if the solution of this latest puzzle is as clever, surprising and satisfying as the previous ones. But before I start, I would like to show you another gadget. It's called GeoBender and it contains four cubes. You can also buy these in different designs or also single ones. Doesn't look too spectacular, but let's see what they can do. Let me know what you think about these cubes and if you would like to see more about them. I will just give you a basic instruction right now. Each of those cubes contains 36 magnets and is folded in a very specific way and this enables them to create very, very complex and confusing shapes, okay? So for example, you can turn this cube into a star like this, okay? Then from the same cube with a small twist, not too familiar with the movements up to now, but I learned how to do the basic shapes at least. You can do this, I don't know what this is even called, this shape. Then you can take the shape and you can turn it again. Now it gets a little bit more complex. Here we go. Into a triangle. You can flip the inside out of this triangle, just changing the color by flipping these over. Here we go, now the fire is on the outside. And you can also turn this triangle here into a very cool rhombical shape. This is a little bit tricky sometimes. Here we go. So this is, this is mind blowing, I know, and super complex. And you need some time in the beginning to be able to understand how you can form these different shapes from the same cube and transfer from one shape into another shape. What's also pretty cool is that you can combine different shapes. So if I, for example, make this star, you can take these four pieces and connect them at the surfaces with the same color because the magnets are oriented in the right way and you can create these super cool big shapes. Not sure if there are even shapes possible with more than five, uh, four cubes, but I mean, <laughs> look at this, this is just, mind-blowing and amazing. As I said, if you would like to see more about these super cool looking GeoBender cubes, let me know in the comments. And to get it back, last but not least, the last one. Here we go. The GeoBender cubes. Amazing, aren't they? <laughs> super cool. But today, today is about this puzzle here. And after spoiler break, you're gonna see my first attempt trying to figure out the solution of this puzzle. And out of my experience with the other four puzzles, I can tell you already the solution is very likely a very clever and surprising one. Okay, so let's just check it out. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check if each of these circles has the same size. Some puzzles I solved previously, <laughs> you probably know what I'm talking about, showed me that it's always clever to, che to check the size. So these are very much the same. 
So I would not expect it's about the size of these single pieces. And then let me see these here, how we can combine them. I put them like so. Okay, these circles fit perfectly inside. Mm, they fit also inside. Maybe can combine them like so. Okay, one left as expected. And it would be also surprising if I can just put them in. This very likely will not work. Hmm. Maybe creating some kind of a bigger, bigger area, like something like something like this. No, they won't fit in like this. Maybe like so. No. And there must be something unusual here with this puzzle because as I learned in the previous ones, just making here some trial and trial and error, this this will definitely not work. There must be something clever, something very unusual in the solution. Can I combine them in a way that I save some space, like... Hmm. Maybe like this. And by the way, there is no instruction or anything. What is allowed, what is not allowed. No, I thought like placing five over here. I think this is gonna be this is gonna take some time. <laughs> Let's see. solution which is more or less looking like this yeah hmm. no but this is also not not right obviously is there a way how I can create a bigger shape maybe in the center like like consuming like 50% I think the upper half One, two, three, four. so close Seems only the smaller ones, the small ones can be used because they can get in completely to the ground. If I use one of these bigger ones, this one for example, they only fit in a very certain position, so you cannot just combine these, for example, like so, or like so, because they can't touch the ground over here. Only the small ones can do this. And if I would be able now to align these two holes I would have one two three four five six uh, six holes for the for the red dots maybe flipping them around like so I think I got it one two three four five six here we go Puzzle solved! And can you see how symmetric this solution is actually? Very interesting, this was not visible to me, that this is these, these locations and holes here are completely symmetric. A very satisfying looking solution. And there were basically two clues that enabled me to solve this puzzle. The first clue was that I com can combine these pieces in a way that they fit in horizontal. 
stacked up on the shorter side. And the second clue was that I can't combine the pieces like this with a small gap in between, but only like this. And if you notice these two things, there are actually not too many ways how to combine it. And this is the solution. Pretty clever puzzle, very enjoyable. Not sure how long it took me, I think like 15 minutes maybe. So on my difficulty rating scale, I would rate it with a three out of a maximum of five. I give it a three and not a two, even it took me only 15 minutes because I got some experience with the other puzzles of Juosaka and that they always assemble in a very unusual way. And therefore I could approach this puzzle a little bit different from someone who is trying to solve these or this puzzle as his first one of this series. Therefore, I think a level three is reflecting the difficulty pretty well. Let me know in the comments if you agree to this and also let me know in the comments what you think about these insane Geobender cubes. Ah, this is just so satisfying. <laughs> if you liked this episode, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't. Stay safe and until next time, keep on puzzling. <laughs>